Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So basically episode we have this cool amazing product right here in my hand and basically what this is is an indoor doormat or indoor rug that you can use when you guys walk into the door, wipe off a shoe or whatever. So the one that we got right here is from the brand right there and this is their soft mat that has a very nice material to it that is also water absorbent. But let's actually open up first and show you guys what the product looks like. Alright. So when we open it up, this is basically what it looks like. So it's all nicely folded up and everything and the material feels really really nice if I can see. So when we fully open it up, this is how big it is right here. And we turn it on the other side, this is basically what it looks like on this side. So it's quite big if I can see, but it should fit perfectly on your door. The material on here, like I mentioned, it is a soft material texture and it is also water absorbent. So if there's any like water that gets onto it, it does absorb the water pretty well. Obviously, if there's like a whole puddle or a whole ocean of water, then it won't be ideal. But small little bits of water, like maybe if I spill a little bit, glass of water is okay. On the back part, it does have that uh, non-slip uh, material on here. So once you guys put it onto the floor, it won't be moving around. And for these indoor rugs or mat, it is a low profile. So what that means is that it's not too big or not too thick. So even if you guys put it where the door is and open it up, it should just slide right through instead of getting trapped or rubbing against the mat itself. That is if you guys don't have those like door stoppers or whatever in the bottom of the door where it like rubs against the floor. And for these rugs, they are machine washable. And if you guys want to use a vacuum cleaner to uh, clean it, you definitely can as well. And the material on here looks like it'll shred pretty easily because it's like a kind of a like firm material or something. But it won't shred that easy as you guys think it will. So you guys don't have to worry about that as well. And for this one, they had it in a gray color, a brown color, and a black color. But this is the one that I got right here. Because the gray one, for some reason, just stood out more to me. And it's more like, I guess, original compared to the black one and the brown one. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Let's go put this on the doorway and see how it works and whether or not it works first. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so once we apply it on, this is basically what it looks like in the same. So we try to move it. It won't move because it has that non-slip material on the bottom part. And then when you guys try to open the door, it should go uh, right through it. Unless you guys have like these part right here that I was talking about. If you guys have that, then most likely it will not open all the way. But let's try it out and see when it actually works. All right, so to see that it doesn't work for my door in particular. So if you guys don't have this bottom part right here like that, then it should work. But if you guys do have them like this, then it will not work. And in this case, you guys probably need to move this away closer to the um, actual uh, hallway here. So that way you guys can actually open up the door. Or you can try removing the bottom part so that way you guys can actually open it up. But that's not really ideal as well because if you guys do that, then the air will come in and you guys will feel the cold breeze air. But definitely the mat itself is pretty good. It feels really, really comfortable when you guys use it. All right, so here's another situation that we have right here. So I have a different door right here. So this one actually has the opening on the bottom part. So if I open it up, you guys can see it goes through really easily. So basically if you guys have any door where it has the bottom part where it rubs around the ground to like seal in the air or seal out the air, then you guys probably can't use those. But this one actually does work if I can see. And the mat itself is actually pretty big. You guys can see it covers a lot. So you guys can put shoes on here as well if you guys want to, but you guys don't need to. And if you guys want to use a vacuum cleaner to clean it, you definitely can. So let me show you guys a quick test of that as well. All right, so I got my vacuum cleaner right here. I'm gonna show you guys when actually it works on it. All right, so as you see the vacuum cleaner does get stuck because it's vacuuming and sucking up the uh, mat itself. But if you guys hold it down with your feet or something, it should work. But if you try to pull it back this way, that's what happens. Because there's nothing holding the other side right there. That's why it's having trouble. But if you guys push it one way like this, it should be fine. Even though it is uh, anti-slip or non-slip, uh, when you guys use a vacuum cleaner, it should be a little bit like less grippy water because it's like pulling it instead of like whatever because it's also sucking up the mat while it's uh, pulling this way. All right, welcome back guys. So now I got a quick test of the product itself. You guys can see that it does work and it works quite well. Super easy to use. All you guys need to do is put on the doorway, start walking in and out of it, rub your shoe against it so that way you guys can get any dirt, dust or any kind of like nasty germs away before you guys walk into the door. You guys can definitely use like a vacuum cleaner like I mentioned to uh, wash it or clean it or you can throw it into the machine to wash it as well. So a lot of different ways to clean it. 
But now that we did the unboxing and testing it for ourselves, now to ask the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that these are any kind of like indoor mat that are water absorbent, non-slip, and has basically all the similar functionality as this mat or indoor rug is really, really worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.